welcome to today's Cherry Yoga session where we will be doing some nice gentle asana poses that represent the sun. Uh, the, this summer's theme is sunrise uh, and hopefully you'll have time to participate in a short art reflection activity. Um, I do have some paper and some markers right next to me. So if you want to make sure you have access to that, please go ahead and do so. Uh, you're welcome to take a seat at this time if you haven't already. Uh, make sure your feet are planted on the ground. Um, if they're not, you can place something underneath like a book uh, to provide you more support. Um, your knees are bent at an angle. Your sit bones should be positioned in the middle of the chair so your back is um, straight and neutral. Um, your shoulders are relaxed. Um, your neck and your head are staring at the screen in front of you. Um, and it's very important because we don't want you to lean back in your chair. We want you to sit up straight. Um, your core can be engaged if you want to um, hold in your stomach. And you can place your hands on your lap. Okay. And again, my name is Marie, and I'll be your uh, instructor. So we're going to start by taking three collective breaths together. You can keep your hands on your lap, or you can place your hands crisscross over your heart. You can stay staring at the screen, you, or you can lower your eyes down to the ground, or you can close them, whatever is comfortable for you. So we're going to inhale. You can inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more time again, inhale, and exhale. And I invite you to continue breathing, finding the natural rhythm of your breath. You can bring your hands down on your lap if they were crisscrossed over your heart. Continue sitting straight with your feet gently placed on the ground. We're going to do some gentle head stretches. So inhale, lifting up your head up to the sky. Exhale, lowering your head down, tucking your chin into your neck. And then inhale, lift up your head up towards the sky. Exhale, lowering your head down. Chin tuck to your chest. And then on your next breath, gently bring your head back to neutral. Then we're going to look towards, do some side neck stretches. So on your next breath, we're going to gently turn our head over to the right, looking over our right hand shoulder. And then we're going to bring our head back to neutral. And in our next breath, we're going to turn our head over to the left. And then we're going to bring our head back to neutral. We're going to gently do some shoulder sh shrugs. So inhale, lifting up your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, letting them down, letting that go. Inhale, lifting up your shoulders up to your ears. And then exhale, bringing them back down to neutral. We're going to do some side um, stretches. So inhale, lifting up your arms up over your head. Exhale, we're going to twist our torso, upper body over to the right. Continue to breathe, and if, if and if having your hands or your arms all the way up over your head is a lot, you can bring them down towards your side. I'm just keeping my arms up over my head, and then your next breath, we're going to bring your torso back to center, and then again, on your exhale, we're going to turn our upper body over to the left, and continue breathing. If you want to bring down your arms, you can down to your side, or you can continue to have them place over your head. And on your next breath, bringing your upper body back to center. Okay, I'm going to bring my arms, my hands together so they're touching, but they're up over my head. And I'm going to lean my upper body over to the right for a nice side seated stretch. Then I'm going to bring my upper body back to center. And I'm going to bring my upper body to, uh, Leaning over towards the left for a nice side seated stretch on opposite side. And then I'm going to bring my upper body back to center. And I'm going to lower my arms back down. Then we're going to finish with some cat cows. So you can keep your hands on your knee. 
Okay, and you're going to stay seated in a neutral uh, pose. We're going to inhale. We're going to arch up our back. We're just going to stick up our stomach. We're going to open up our chest. And our head's going to look up at the sky, admiring the sky at this time. And then exhale. We're going to curve our spine, tuck in our stomach, bring our head down, our chin tucked to our chest. Our, hands are, our arms are still out in front of us, straight with our hands on our knees for support. And then inhale, we're going to open up our chest, look up at the sky. And our arms are still placed at our side, but, but bent at the elbow, hands on our knees for support. And then exhale, we're going to tuck our stomach in, round our spine, tuck our chin into our chest as we lower our head down. And our arms are out in front of us for support. And then our next breath, we're going to bring our body back to neutral. Now we're going to engage in some sun salutations. So we're, I invite you to bring your arms out to the side for mountain pose. Our palms are facing the front of the room. Inhale, lift up your arms over your head. Okay, and then we're going to use our upper body to slowly, we're going to hinge our hips down, whereas we're bending at the hips, which is going to lower our upper body closer to our thighs. Now, you can stay with your arms tucked to your sides, bend out the elbow and your hands placed at your knee, or you can bring your arms all the way down, which is going to lower your upper body more closer to your thighs. Your head's going to hang down like a rag doll, and your hands can stay um, tucked at your ankle. Uh, you can have them touching the ground, or you can... Uh, Cuff your arms together so your hands touching an opposite elbow and your head is hanging down over your arms like a rag doll. Whatever is comfortable for you, I'm going to keep my hands um, cuffed around my ankle and then we're going to slowly inhale. I'm going to roll my hands up towards my knee for a halfway lift. So I'm lifting halfway. My back is straight and neutral. My now continuing to breathe, exhale, we're going to bring our upper body back down to full forward fold. And then inhale, we're going to use our upper body, slowly roll our upper body up towards a neutral position, back into mountain pose. Inhale, lift our arms up and over our head. You can bring your palms together and lower them down to your heart. And just take a moment to pause and honor this beautiful season of summer. Feeling the heat that may be surrounding you at this time. And honoring the beautiful energy we are creating this morning by moving our body. And on your next breath, you can lower your arms back down to your thigh. And then we're going to bring our arms back out to our side, palms facing the front of the room for mountain pose. Inhale, lift your arms up and over your head. And then we're going to use our upper body to slowly lower ourselves down to forward fold, hinging at the hips. And we can either keep our arms tucked to our sides and our uh, hands placed at our knee, or we can bring our arms all the way down to the floor. I'm cuffing my hands to my ankle for support, but you find whatever position comfortable for you. And on your next inhale, I'll slowly roll up halfway for halfway lift. Stop at your knee and continue to breathe. And then exhale, we're going to lower our upper body back down to a full forward fold. Continuing to breathe, admiring the ground that is beneath us. And then inhale, we're going to slowly roll our upper body up one vertebrae at a time, lifting our head up last to a neutral position. Great. Now we're going to do one more set of sun salutations, but we're going to add um, some cat cows to it. 
So inhale, lift up your arms up and over your head. Exhale, lower your upper body down to the floor for a forward fold. Use whatever variation of forward fold that feels comfortable for you. Inhale, slowly lift up to a halfway lift, stopping at your knees. Exhale, bring your upper body back down to forward fold. And then inhale, we're going to slowly lift up our upper body back to a neutral position. And we're going to stop here in neutral pose. And we're going to do some cat cow. So inhale, we're going to open up our chest, looking up at the sky. Our arms are tucked to the side of us for support, hands on our knees. And then Exhale, we're going to tuck our stomach in around our spine, lower our head down, tucking our chin into our chest. And inhale, we're going to open up our chest, looking up at the sky. And exhale, we're going to tuck our stomach in, rounding our spine, our head looking down. Then we're going to bring our upper body back to neutral. Inhale, lift your arms up and over your head bringing your palms together and lowering them down to your center, taking a moment to embrace the beautiful sunshine that surrounds us. And we will use to brighten our day. And you can lower your arms back down to your thighs. One more time, inhale, lift up your arms up and over your head. Lower your upper body down closer to your thighs, hinging at the hips. And you can use whatever variation that feels comfortable for you. We're just taking time to give honor to the ground that we are practicing on, honoring our ancestors. Inhale, slowly lift, halfway lift, stopping at your knee, continuing to breathe. And then exhale, lowering back down. The half, full forward fold. Hope y'all are doing okay. And then inhale, slowly lift your upper body back to neutral. Okay, then we're going to do some cat cow. So inhale, we're going to stick out our stomach, open up our chest, look up at the sky. Our arms are still placed to our side for support. And then exhale, we're going to round our spine, tucking in our stomach, looking down at the ground. Inhale. Open up your chest, look up at the sky. Exhale, tucking in, our, tucking in your stomach, rounding your spine, looking down at the ground. Then we're gonna bring our body back to neutral. Okay, and from here, I welcome you to straighten your legs out in front of you, okay? Your heel is placed gently on the ground. Your toes are sticking up. You can flex your feet upward if you like. Make sure your sit bones are still positioned in the middle of the chair so you don't fall out. Inhale, we're going to lift up our arms up and over our head. Exhale, we're going to lower our arms down. Okay, and your, your hands can reach as far as it feels comfortable for you. My hands only reach as far as my knees, but some of you may be more flexible. You may be able to reach your ankle or your feet, or maybe you don't feel like stretching that far. Um, and to release the stretch, you can move your back more in a, for, a backward position to kind of bring your arms upwards up along your thigh and to have more of a stretch, you can bring, move your back more forward, which will extend your arms out further down your legs. So whatever's comfortable for you, continue to breathe and admiring the ground that we are practicing on, embracing this beautiful summer session, feeling that stretch behind your thighs, within your lower back. And then inhale, we're going to slowly lift up our upper body back to a neutral position. You can bend your knee, your legs at the knees to bring them back to center. And we're going to take this time to do 
some gentle breathing to rest our body, which will bring us into Shavasana. So you can stay seated in your chair in a neutral position. You can lower your back so it's touching the back of your chair for support. You could place something um, underneath your feet if you want to prop them up, or you can um, lie on the ground or find another comfortable place to rest. We're just going to take a couple of moments to breathe and enjoy the summer sunshine around us. And when you're ready, you can start to slowly bring yourself back to the present by wiggling your toes. If your um, back is placed against your chair, you can lift up your upper body back to neutral position. You can circle your wrist. You can circle your neck if that's comfortable for you, bringing yourself back to the center. Okay. And I invite you to lift up your arms up and over your head, bringing your palms together, lowering your palms to heart center. And I wish you much love and kindness. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. And may you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for coming in for this beautiful sunrise chair yoga session. Now, I invite you to day and participate in the art reflection activity, but you are welcome to continue resting or to, to end this session to start the rest of your day, whatever is comfortable for you. But we do have a couple more minutes. So I invite you to grab a piece of paper. It could be scratch paper. Um, it could be whatever you have laying in, in your house. I'm writing on a clipboard, but you can move somewhere that has a hard surface, or maybe you want to uh, draw on the floor, whatever's comfortable for you. And I have a marker. My marker is orange, but you could use a pen, a pencil, a crayon, whatever you have available at your, where you are practicing this yoga session at. And today we're going to draw a sun, okay? So what is your interpretation of a sun? So whatever comes to mind, we're, we're not going to be judging ourselves. This doesn't need to be perfect, but we just want you to draw a sun. And if it helps, I'm starting off by drawing a circle. I don't know if you can see it because my marker is bright. And then I'm going to draw triangles outside of the circle to represent my sun. But again, there's different ways to draw a sun. You could think back to when you were in kindergarten and preschool and you had all the time in the world to draw in color. What did your sons look like? Okay, we just want you to have fun. So this is what my son looks like. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera <laughs> so you can see it better. And I'm going to write something in the middle of the sun, okay? so. I, the, the reflection question is, what is one thing that you're excited about this summer? Okay. Um, it could be maybe you're going to travel. Uh, maybe you have time off from school or work. Maybe you get to see more of your friends or family. Um, whatever you feel uh, you're excited about. Okay. And you don't have, you can write a sentence, you can write one word, or maybe you don't want to write. Maybe you want to draw it, you could draw it too. Uh, whatever represents what, what that one thing that you're excited about for this summer.
All right, a couple of more minutes to figure out that one thing that you're excited about this summer and to get that on your paper. And then we're gonna reflect from, by looking at our art. Okay, so I hope you have something on your paper. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna take a time to just look at our artwork and reflect on what we made or admire it. We're not here to critique. Again, we're just expressing ourselves. So I'm gonna move up to the camera. So again, I drew a sun and in the middle of my sun, I put break. And that is something I'm looking forward to this summer, just being able to have a break, been busy the whole year, just need time to rest. Um, so that's one thing I'm excited about. And I also drew a face on my son, I added some eyes and some lips, but I was just being playful, but you can add whatever you like. <laughs> Again, we're just getting in touch with our inner child, having fun um, and take time to really see what you can create. If you want, if you have more time, you could also get out a journal and you can journal about this prompt about, you know, what, that one thing that you were, you're excited about for the summer, or you could just check in with yourself and um, just checking in with how you're feeling in this moment of time. You know, how did this um, creative chair yoga session go for you um, or whatever else is on your mind. So that is it for today's uh, creative chair yoga class. Our theme again was sunrise. I uh, hope to see y'all next week. Uh, and thank you so much.